it, it, it was, you know, it kind of came out of the blue. I didn't really know that that was going to happen. And I got the call from my manager. They wanted me to audition for this role. And, and then I, further down the road, I'd find out that I'm playing the bully to my dad's character when he was a young man, which was crazy. I mean, I was like, it's almost like, you know, it's like, it's like if you were to find out that Scarface had a bully and playing that guy, right? Um, yeah. But uh, obviously my dad's character is not that evil. Um, but, uh, you know, it just, you go into this history of his past and you find out that he, he had a lot of struggles himself when he was a young man. And, you know, you kind of get an understanding of where he came from and that he wasn't always the top dog. You know, he was actually the underdog for, for a little while when he was younger. And that kind of, you know, helped him create the armor that he has today, uh, being the, you know, the head of Cobra Kai and creating that, the dojo. And, and, uh, it was really, uh, you know, a very eye opening experience, man. Why didn't they cast you as the young John Kreese, being that you're his son in real life? <laughs> uh, man, you know, I was so happy with, with, with what happened. You know, um, you know, that's that's a question I, you know, I I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, one, Barrett Carnahan, who played young Kreese, is such a great actor, such a great guy. I got nothing bad to say about him. You know, I was so I was so lucky to work alongside him. He's a terrific actor. And he took on the role, you know, so seriously as if as if I did, you know. And and he, also he looks just like my father, you know. The, the hair and everything was so perfect, you know. So I was happy that, that with how it turned out. You know, I loved my character. It was a lot of fun. And you know, Barrett and I become good friends. And you know, he's he's uh, he went on to do continue great things on the season. And um, you know, it was it was fantastic. It was really fantastic. And it was like funny, you know, before we met each other. We were talking about like you know he was saying he was telling me the story about oh you know ha- Martin's real son is going to play this character and he was kind of like oh god what is he going to be like and then we met each other and we just hit it off right away and we were like we were like two big nerds in, in, in like a like a comic con on set. Uh, were you already trained in martial arts? Or did you have so to I've learn done a lot? I've done a lot of mixed martial arts you know throughout the years and, and different um, you know different stunts from different films I've done. You know, I did karate when I was younger, and I did you know a, different MMA classes growing up, and then you know I've been an athlete my whole life. So you know, kind of jumping into the physical, you know, and also I do a lot of like weapons training. You know, jumping into the physicality of what was needed was, you know, it wasn't too difficult, but it was you know challenging in all the right ways. You know, and Hiro Koda, who was a stunt coordinator, he just you know he showed us the whole thing. It was just so easy to be able to 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 do this dance, I guess you could say, you know, between Barrett and I and the fight sequences. It was just, we had a blast, man. It was a lot of fun. You know, obviously there were some cuts and bruises and being thrown on the ground and whatnot, but, you know, I like, I like, you know, putting a little skin in the game and, uh, you know, being as authentic as I can. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that whole sequence um, of Creasy on behind the scenes um, of when he was younger it kind of almost sets it up for a possible spinoff. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, you're right. And they have talked about that. Funny enough, they've talked about that publicly, you know, and the writers even acknowledge that they, they, you know, it would be fun for them to, to dive into, um, it would be fun for them to dive into uh, a young crease spinoff and it would just be incredible. It would be amazing. And if I could be a part of that, you know, I would be, I would be so happy and uh, you know, if, if they continue that story, I think it'd be fun for the fans too to see that. I know that I know that they want it for sure. Was it usually Thank you, you play like a, a hero type of guy? Was it harder for you to get into that? You know, it's true, man. I usually always do play those roles, which I love and enjoy, and, and of course, you know, so grateful when those come along. But I do really love playing, you know, villains and bad guys. It's just, you know, I like to go against the grain, and uh, it's just. It's just a lot of fun. You get a lot of freedom when you get to play these kind of villainous roles. You know, you get to put your own personal spin on a lot of these things. You know, you you kind of aren't, um, you know, kind of stuck between these lanes that you have to be in. So, you know, playing these these bad guy roles is, is really is always a lot of fun. You just have a blast doing it, and, and they're just, you know, very challenging in their own ways. What did your dad say after he saw that performance? Oh, he was thrilled. He was so excited. You know, he was already down there filming season three. Uh, they'd already started when I when I was heading down there. And so for him, you know, he was very proud. And for him to see, you know, his son kind of, you know, acting alongside the younger version of his character and him, you know, it was kind of, it was just as surreal for him. He never thought anything like that would have happened. So 
you know, he was just, you know, very proud of me as a, as a father and then also, you know, watching me as an actor as well, doing what I was doing. And, you know, he was like a kid in a candy shop. He was, try- he was videoing the whole thing. You know, he was like, he was almost, he was almost in the shots. You know, the directors had to be like, Marty, like, you need to get out of the shot. You're, you're in the middle of these things. <laughs> and uh, he was just, he was having a blast. And, you know, it was fun. And it was fun for everybody. The whole crew, you know, the, that day was really, they were really excited about this whole flashback sequence. And then knowing that I had his son playing this character. And, you know, there was this great energy on set that day. It was very, it was very special. And everybody was, was very excited to even just see my dad watching me do all this. It was it was, it was like a family occasion, you know? Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, like, comment, share. Also go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.